So according to a poll by the American Psychiatric Association earlier this year, one in three Americans feel lonely every hmm. week. That's kind of sad. So friendship is an important factor in avoiding that loneliness. Yeah, and you can watch this show. Maybe you won't feel lonely That's when true. you hang out with us. Uh, in fact, according to research by the Pew Research Center, 61% of Americans that say that are adults, they say that having close friends is important if you want to lead a fulfilling life. So today we have mindfulness expert Kelly Smith joining us with ways that we can combat loneliness and foster friendship through mindfulness. Kelly, it's nice to have you it's here. It's good to see you. It's good to see you guys. I like your tip. Just watch the show and hang watch out with you guys. We do yeah. hear from a lot of people who move to the Twin Cities who say that we're their first friends because they tune in and then they're like, oh, now I figured out, you know, who yeah, lives where here. where to go and what to do. Oh, that's really sweet. It really makes us feel very good. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about loneliness and friendship. This is something that's really important to you. You know, it is really important to me because it's something that I always struggled with when I was younger. I had, you know, this is my vulnerable moment, but I had like no friends. I remember just- What? Yes. I. I yeah, really, that doesn't truly, seem possible. No, okay, well, that's very kind. But I just remember these days, even like through college, I mean, I had like a couple friends, but just like praying that someone would want to hang out with me. And now I feel like one of the best things in my life are the friendships that I have and like the really special people in my life. So oh it's something gosh. that I wish I could go back and tell my younger self and be like, one day, truly the best part of your life will be the people in it. Okay, well, I do think that that's really inspiring because also there is this feeling that if you didn't find like your people in high mm -hmm. school and particularly in Minnesota, you know, it, mm -hmm. we can be a little bit of like a closed off crew that if you didn't find your people in high school, you'll never find your people. And But you've made really good friends as an adult. Yeah, and you know, I think a big piece of that was when I was younger and who does know themselves, like I didn't really know myself, so I think it becomes really hard to form meaningful friendships until you get to know yourself first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's really important as we talk about, so transitioning, we, Elizabeth was just talking about people moving in town. Well, we moved in town, my wife and I moved in town in 2006. We're not from here, we don't have a support group. We knew nothing, we knew nobody. Um, there's a lot of people that come in, into town what are some of the best ways that you can try to find your people and maybe get, get through that time of like, okay, if I haven't found my people yet, what are some tools that you can use to kind of, you know, not be lonely and stay happy? So I like to do this thing that I call taking yourself on a date, which is where you just go and if there's something that you've wanted to do, if you're like, I wanna find, I'm into yoga, so maybe I wanna go try a new yoga studio. Start going and finding the things that make you really happy and then put yourself out there when you're there at those things that make you happy because you might find someone that has like a shared interest. You also could do like a little bit of journaling and kind of writing about if you are feeling lonely, like why are you feeling lonely or what do you hope to find through friendship to maybe get some clarity on that and also allow yourself to get uncomfortable mm -hmm. and put yourself out there. A lot of the friends I've made has been because I've just put myself out there and been like, hey, I really liked meeting you. Do you want to be friends or do you want to get <laughs> yeah. lunch? Yeah, or you want to hang wanna out? Get... Yeah. yeah, and like that's really hard to do and it feels uncomfortable, but a lot of people, especially as adults, are looking for friendships and someone just has to be like, hey, do you want to hang out? What do you think about that on social media too? I mean, I have really good adult friends that I've made through that I've like connected with through seeing their posts on social media and then we'll DM each other and then we'll be like, we are friends. This is so great. I mean, but then you have to take it to real life, I think. Yeah, and I think I think social media is kind of, you know, this double-edged sword because it can be such a great way to connect with people, but I think it's also something that's really contributing to loneliness because you can see all of these people, but it may not be an actual meaningful relationship relationship or you never take it offline where you get to know someone in that deep way. And I think the same study that was talking about, you know, so many individuals feeling lonely, there's also, we see this increased loneliness in like teens and young adults because yeah. mm -hmm. they're so chronically online that they really are missing actual meaningful person to person connection offline. Well, plus yeah. they had the pandemic isolation, yeah, which is just yes. long lasting effects that are so difficult. Yeah. Yes. You know, you're so big into mindfulness and breathing and kind of like visualizing things and like really kind of be an introspective. Like, are there ways that you can do that to sort of, I know that we kind of use this term a lot, but like sort of manifest friendships. And oh, almost, and almost I say love like, this manifestation. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Just, and just be like, okay, I'm actually maybe just going to will this and I can visualize how I'm going to do this. 
Yes, I do think you can definitely do that where you could think about, um, a lot of times with manifestation, I like to encourage people to think about how you would feel, like how would your life be different? So not even necessarily imagining like, oh, this is what I want my friend to look like, or this is what it would be like, but like, what would I feel like having that friend? Or how would my life be different if I had a friend or more friendship mm -hmm. in my life? I think that can be a really powerful exercise. And then I also think that using meditation to get to know yourself better, I think a big piece of when I was younger, not like finding my people, all I did have a small handful of like, beautiful friends, yeah. but not Who are gonna text you after this, and oh, they're and gonna be one like, of Kelly. Them, one of them, shout out to Marn, because she does watch, and she's gonna be like, Kelly, we've been friends for a long time. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think it was that I didn't really know how to show up as my best self, because I didn't know who I was. Yeah. Yeah. And so the more that I use meditation to get to know myself and to become more comfortable with who I was, the people started to show up because I, I think that's just... Well, well confidence is attractive. It's right. attractive sure. it, when it comes to friendships. It, it's attractive when it comes to relationships. It just is. It's like people are drawn to that. And the more you can develop that, I think it just becomes easier to find people who you want to spend time with. Yeah, and I think authenticity too, like when you know yourself and even if you know, you're know you a little silly or a little weird or you have some kind of a hobby that you're like, I just find a lot of enjoyment in this, mm -hmm. I think that kind of attracts people too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good really job, Kelly. I think this is really this is really going to resonate with a lot of people. We're definitely really friends, just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> like, <Yay. that's> <laughs> All right, check this out, you guys. You can connect with Kelly in Iceland. She's going to be there for a six-day meditation and mindful movement retreat. It's coming up this October. Uh, Betsy, our producer, went on one with Kelly and loved it. This is a great way to meet new people, and it focuses on returning to yourself. We have more details posted on TwinCitiesLive.com.